time, there was a potter who designed all kinds of different pottery. And in fact, every kind of pottery that was ever made, he made. He was very proud of the work of his hands, and he loved each and every one of them. He knew every little detail of all the pieces he designed. There were never two exactly alike. Every time the potter would begin to create a new piece of his artwork, he would already have a plan in mind of what he wanted to use the pottery piece for once he finished it. The first step the potter took was to search for the clay that he could work with. He promises that whosoever is willing to be molded by him, he would create something beautiful out of them that he would use for his glory. Over here! I'm over here! I'm willing! Choose me! Choose me! The potter scoops up the potential clay and begins to examine it for impurities so that he could remove them to make it clean. Oh, that tickles! <laughs> hey, what are you doing there? Ah! Hmm, that does feel better now that you took that stuff out. Once he finished cleaning the clay, he knew it was time to start to wedge the clay. Over and over, the potter wedged the clay, kneading it like dough. Sir, I thought this was going to be fun. First you pick and prod, and now you're giving me the hardest massage I ever had. Just trust me. I have a plan. I promise I will work it out for your good and for my purposes. I will never leave you alone. <coughs> okay, if you say so, but I need to tell you this isn't what I was expecting. I feel like I'm getting beaten up. Did I tell you that that hurts? The potter continued to work the clay over and over until he could feel that the clay had a consistent density throughout it. He knew that any air bubbles left inside the clay when exposed to heat would burst out, weakening it and making it useless for the potter's purposes. Oh, right. You're moving me off to a new spot. I hope this is easier than what I just went through. The preparation stage is finished. So the potter puts the clay on the wheel and it begins to spin. The potter keeps a bucket of water next to him as he works. He knows that the clay's natural tendency is to dry out very quickly and lose its softness. So the potter bathes it in his living water often. Ooh, now that feels cool and soothing. I feel like I'm, I'm getting a sponge bath. Oh, mm, so much softer. Next, the potter's goal is to mold the clay to be perfectly centered on his wheel. As the wheel spins, the potter keeps his hands over the top of the clay, applying an even pressure until he feels the clay has stopped wobbling and is no longer resisting him, but resting in the center of his wheel. But, before the potter is done, the clay begins to get bored. <gasps> this is taking too long. I I'm ready to get my shape now. Oh, I can hardly wait to find out what I'm going to be. Maybe I'm going to be a beautiful vase to hold flowers. Hmm, or, or maybe a picture to serve iced tea. Oh, I just wish you would hurry up. <sighs> I know. I don't need to wait for him. This shouldn't be that hard. I'll just pull a little this way. Yeah, that's it. Push a little this way. Yeah, it's working. I'm starting to grow now. This is looking like a good shape for me. The potter knows that if he begins to shape the clay prematurely before it is centered, the clay will become more and more off balance with time, and it will begin to grow in a direction it was not intended to. The taller the clay gets before it is ready, it could end up collapsing upon itself. Sometimes, he has even seen the clay fly right off his wheel. Whoa! Whoa! Oh no! I'm out of control! I'm flying through the air! <laughs> hey, where am I? Uh, oh no, this is scary. Oh, what are all those cracked and broken pieces of pottery all around me? It looks, it looks like a, a graveyard. <gasps> I've landed in pottery.
potter's field. This can't be the end of me. I, I can't stay here. Help! Help me! I, I'm over here. Mr. Potter! Mr. Potter! Please pick me up. Take me back. I'm so sorry. I should have waited for you. Here I am, you of little faith. Oh, Mr. Potter, sir, please forgive me and give me another chance. Are you ready to start trusting me now? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Potter, sir. I need you to understand my plan for you is for good and not for evil. But you have to leave yourself in my hands and wait on my timing. I will not violate your free will. Oh, I will trust you. I promise. I promise. I am so sorry I tried to do this my way. I'll never do that again. Even though you won't tell me what I'm going to be doing or what I'm going to be. All I know is this is hopeless if I stay out here all by myself. Okay, before I begin the process to mold you once again, first answer me this. Who is the potter? Well, you are Mr. Potter. And who is the clay? Oh, I am Mr. Potter, sir. Okay then. The potter once again places the clay in the center of the wheel and places his hands over the top of the clay as his wheel begins to spin. He continues to lean over the clay with an even pressure, pulling the clay up and down until gradually the clay stops wobbling. The clay has learned to no longer resist the pressure, but to just wait under the potter's hands in the center of his wheel. Okay, this is better. I think I'm getting it. I, I'm not even feeling dizzy anymore. I feel, I feel kind of safe in this spot yielded to you. Change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. Change my heart, oh God, make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God, may I be like you. You are the potter, I am the clay. Mold me and make me, this is what I pray. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. Mm -hmm. The potter continues to center the clay. With both hands locked all around the base of the clay, the potter begins to squeeze pressure evenly around the clay, and it begins to grow taller and taller into a solid cylinder shape. The clay starts to get excited. Okay. I think I like this. No more staying the same. I'm actually going somewhere now. This is very cool. I can hardly wait to see what I will become and how you're going to use me up, up, and away. Just then, the potter flattens the top of the clay. Once the potter is confident that the clay is centered on his wheel, it becomes time for him to begin to shape the clay. With two fingers, pushing with downward pressure into the center of the cylinder to cause a hole to open up. Now! I thought I was moving upwards, and now you're pressing me down and opening me up in the inside. This is so confusing. I thought I was starting to look good on the outside. Before I can use you, I need to empty you out. I can only use you if you're not full of yourself. So trust me and stay very pliable in my hands. I am molding you into a design that I have pre-planned for you. I got an idea. While I'm working on you, why don't you sing another song? How about the one that you sang on Sunday? Um, oh, okay. What was that one? Oh, okay. oh, oh, I know. More of you and less of me. Yep, that's the one. More of you. Gentle but purposeful pressure, the potter 
continues to shape the clay. The clay remains pliable in the potter's hands, trusting him as he develops it from the inside out. What a beautiful sight to behold as the details of the clay's design are formed. Finally, the clay gets a glimpse of what its purpose to serve might be. it would need to be put on the shelf for a time and left to air dry. Ow! That hurts! What are you doing? I was finally comfortable there. Oh, oh okay, okay, I get it. You're, you're lifting me off, off the wheel. I, I must be done now. But wait, where are you taking me, Mr. Potter? Oh no, you're putting me up on the shelf? Why do you want me just to sit there? It must be time for me to go to work. Trust me, I am not done with you yet. I will not leave you alone. You need to just stay put for a while. Okay, you say so, but I have to tell you I'm really disappointed. I don't want to just sit here. I want to do something. I'll let you know when the time is right and I'll pick you up again. You would crack if I didn't let you first rest a while. My concern is for you. Okay, but I don't get it. I, I thought you would be happy that I wanted to be used by you, but instead you put me up here on this quiet and lonely place. It's so quiet here. Well, I guess it's sort of nice. Rather peaceful. Peaceful and quiet. Oh, now I'm getting sleepy. Maybe I'll just rest a while. When sufficient time had passed, the potter knew that the clay was now ready to go through the most difficult process. Into the fire it must go. Finally, I'm off that lonely shelf. But... Wait a minute, where, where are we going now? What's that? Is that an oven? <laughs> oh, you couldn't possibly be thinking of putting me in that hot place. Mr. Potter, what are you doing now? I thought I was done. I'm ready to start working for you. Please don't put me in there. Please help me. <laughs> this is a mistake. The potter gently slides the bowl into the kiln and begins to turn up the heat slowly at first, and then gradually increasing. The potter will not allow the clay to be heated too quickly or for too long. It will be timed out just perfectly. The whole while the bowl is inside the kiln, it is scared and confused, sure that it has been abandoned by the potter. It grieved the potter to hear the clay crying out for help, but he knew that this step was necessary to strengthen the clay. Potter watched and waited and never took his eyes off his precious pottery. He knew exactly the right time to deliver it out of the fire. Just when the bowl thought it couldn't take one more minute, the heat begins to subside and it starts to get cooler. After a while, the kiln door slowly opens up. The bowl looks up and sees Mr. Potter with a big smile on his face. It is finished. <laughs> I am proud of you. You are finally ready for that last step, and you are going to like this one, I promise. It will protect you from outside influences. So the potter seals the bowl with artistic strokes. Thank you so much, Mr. Potter, sir. Thank you for being so patient with me and taking me back. You have kept your promises. In your time, you made me beautiful. Now, can I ask what my first assignment will be? Certainly. You will be filled with 
water to wash the feet of my children. Oh, how exciting! Thank you so much, Mr. Potter, sir! Finally, the bowl was fit for the Master Potter's use, and day by day, it was given opportunities to serve and to fulfill the purposes for which it was created. Now, as we leave the story of the potter and the clay, ladies, if I could share with you for a moment, just like the clay and potter, as a child of God, you are also given an opportunity to allow God to mold your life into the beautiful creation He has designed you for. But listen to me now. The question is, will you trust Him? Wait on His timing? And stay yielded to Him? In those times of fear and confusion, in those times of pain, and in those times of unexpected turns? Or will you leave the center of His wheel and miss out on what God has planned for you? Can I encourage you, ladies, to continue to trust God and stay yielded to Him? And as you do, I promise you, you will become fit for the Master's use. <laughs>